So I just got in from uh, a dermatologist appointment with my son. And for those who know me on a personal level, um, you know that I'm a very private person about my, my life. And yesterday was uh, National Sunday or Sun Sunday, right? And uh, right now, life has been very, very busy on my end. And um, I thought I'd do this video just because I'm doing a lot of stuff right now for my son. And it's a lot of stuff that I guess a lot of people don't know because I don't share it. Because it's not something that people talk about. And um, so anyways, I just got back from a dermatologist appointment. And it's a dermatologist appointment that we've probably been to. Mm, I don't know, three times, uh, whether it be three times a month, twice a month. It started off uh, once a year when my son was seven. Then it became every six months. Then it became every three months. And then it became every month. And it was because my son had a progressing uh, skin condition called... Um, Hedronitis something, Supertiva. I'll never be able to say it right, no matter what. And uh, I just call it HS. And um, after going through this uh, skin disease and going through so many different dermatologists, doctors, to care for his skin, um, you know, you think that these doctors know it all. And then you you quickly realize that these doctors don't know nothing. They just know textbook stuff. You know, anybody can memorize a book. But like real, real knowledge, you don't really come across that very often. Um, unless they have that thrive to really want to make a difference, you know. And you don't find those type of people anymore. It's very hard to find those type of people. And so when i finally got to like i guess my seventh dermatologist that my son has um you know and i have really great insurance i have really great insurance and you just think that with great insurance you get great service and it's just mediocre bare minimum you know and um for those of you uh you know that <laughs> i talk about my son all day every day and um the stuff that i don't post um, is his skin, his health, his health situation. Because it's not something that anybody talks about. Nobody shares about it. And if you do, um, then that's great. You're very comfortable about it. Because it shouldn't be something that should make you uncomfortable, but it does make me uncomfortable. And I guess the reason I'm saying it doesn't now is because there's been some changes as far as what I've done. I intervened in something that where my son's health was costing him his life. He was uh, basically um, living in a bed and experiencing pain 24 hours. And this entire time that the years are passing, um, you just see his health declining, his skin getting worse. And if you ever looked up HS, uh, it's it it says that there's no, they don't know how HS starts and they don't know why people get it, but they know that before it used to be a, a very far and few who had it. Now it's a lot of people have it, and it's just something that you don't speak about. And so with today's uh, appointment the dermatologist was just shocked very shocked at my son's results and he's looking at the progress pics and looking at everything because my son is officially off of humira my son's officially off of clindamycin doxycycline uh metformin and whatever else uh medication that they have my son on and this is some serious stuff like this medication is for 
some serious stuff. And you don't realize what it's for until you start seeing how it starts to cripple your your kid, you know? And um, when you wake up and, and your, your kid's laying in a, a pool of blood because his body doesn't know how to stop opening up in areas like uh, his problem areas are under his arms, uh, around his buttocks, by his groin, on his groin, under belly, on the belly, and um, on the inner thighs, upper thighs, lower thighs. He was considered HS3. And the last time that I left my son's dermatologist appointment, the last thing that stayed with me is the dermatologist told me your son is my worst condition patient and also my youngest patient and it makes you feel like shit because you start to think what did I do wrong Why did he, why did he even get this condition? How do I stop the condition from getting worse? And they don't know. Doctors don't know. They don't know how to stop it from getting worse. They just know how to pump you up with a bunch of stuff and hope for the best. And so after that appointment, I sat down and we drove home. Because they suggested surgery. They wanted to do a uh, skin removal under his arms. And uh, replace it with other areas of his skin. And he... The doctor told me that there would be no guarantee that this would be something that would not come back. And I'm like, well, how would you... Why would you even recommend surgery then? On a 12-year-old. Or now 13-year-old. Why would you recommend surgery if this isn't a cure? And they're like, well, you know, it's just to get rid of the holes in his body. I'm not concerned about the holes in his body. I'm concerned about what's be behind that hole. Why is that hole even there? And they don't know. Nobody knows. How do you not know? But this disease has been there forever. So long. And it's hidden. So on our drive home and my son begged, like, you know, because we talked about it. You know, do we do di surgery? And he said, I don't want to do surgery, Mom. I'm done. Like, you know, you're talking to a kid who has to regularly unclothe every month and be seen by doctors to see what's going on. And you become a professional at home because I learned how to start lancing incisions, cleaning infections. I learned how to take care of wounds that would not close. My son had wounds, open wounds that were open for over a year. And all you can do is just make sure that they don't get infected. And they expect these kids to go to school and participate in a PE and participate in class. But what you don't understand is you're in pain. And this pain goes down to the bone. I've seen people who can't even handle a shot. And you got these kids going through this pain. And uh, so anyways, uh, after that appointment, I went through my son's entire body. Took out blackheads from everywhere because they say that this is a uh, blackheads are contributing to that disease. And I started just doing research. Started researching everything and anything. As soon as I got out of work, fed my son, did what mommy duties do, 